It is time once again for everyone's favorite radio show, The Creepy Adventures of Dr. Floyd. Brought to you by DrFloyd.com. <laughs> When we last left our horrified heroes, they were in Iga Uinu, Japan, in the year 1650. They were currently surrounded by Dr. Steve's latest maniacal machination, an acrimonious army of ninja zombies. While Dr. Steve and Frigid watch in morbid amusement nearby, the blood-curdling brigade of zombies staggers closer and closer to Dr. Floyd, Dr. Grant, and Chips. What are we going to do, Dr. Floyd? I don't know, Dr. Grant. We have time to make a plan. According to my calculations, these zombies are so slow moving, they won't reach us for five minutes. Five minutes? They are pretty slow moving. Not like those zombies in that one movie. Those zombies were Dr. Grant, I will not get into the slow versus fast moving zombie debate here. Well, we have five minutes. No, we don't. I want to get back and go trick or treating. Quick, back to the ship. Let's jump ahead four minutes and 30 seconds and we'll get this over with. But Dr. Floyd... No buts, Chips. Back on the ship. In seconds, our heroes are back aboard their time and spaceship and they once again make a jump to Iga Uino, Japan just four minutes and 30 seconds later. Once they reappear, they run down the ship's ramp and back to the same exact spots they were in moments earlier, which are now within arm's reach of the ninja zombies. There, see, we saved ourselves some time. It's too bad we didn't think of a plan to defeat the zombies while we were making that time jump, hmm? Yeah, that probably would have been a good idea. Ninja Zombies, attack Dr. Floyd! Uh, Hold it there, hold it there, hang on, Mr. Ninja Zombies. Uh I'm not Dr. Floyd, this is just my Halloween costume. He's Dr. Floyd. Thanks a heap, Dr. Grant. Well, I just wanted them to be precise. Attention, Ninja Zombies. Would you just please attack them all? Oh, now what are we going to do? The only thing we can do in this situation, Dr. Grant, panic! (laughs) As our heroes stoically scream in self-defense, the lead ninja zombie rears back to deliver a crippling karate chop to Dr. Floyd. But when his hand makes contact with Dr. Floyd's shoulder, there's a creaking sound, and the zombie's arm falls right off onto the ground. Uh, Hey, look at that. Dr. Grant, Chips, I know what to do now to defeat him. What's that? Just stand still. Dr. Floyd, are you crazy? Trust me, stand still. Our heroes stand perfectly still. As they do, the zombies all rear back to begin their assault. As they attack, however, the bones on their corpses break easily. Arms and legs fly everywhere. And in mere moments, our heroes are still standing still. In a pile of dust and old ninja robes, standing nearby, shocked at what they witnessed, is Dr. Steve and Frigid. My, my beautiful army of ninja zombies, gone. Curse you, Dr. Floyd. One of these days I will succeed. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, Dr. Steve. Come along, Fidget. Let's get out of here. Happy Halloween to you too, Fidget! Should we go after them? Nah, let them run. We need to get home and do some trick-or-treating. Our heroes are soon back in Dr. Floyd's laboratory, all set to go out and do their trick-or-treating. Flashlights? Check. Candy bags? Got them right here. Looks like we're all set. Where's your costume, Dr. Floyd? It's right here. Help me put it on. Okay, hang on. All right. Pull! Watch my ears! Now put your arms through. Okay, pull down right there. All mm. right, there we go. Okay, what do you think? I'm fidgeted. Where did you get a sock that big, Dr. Floyd? You know the basketball player, Nate Thurman? You mean Nate the Great? Yep, he owed me a favor. So you're wearing one of Big Nate's socks? No, I really am afraid. What? I washed it first. That is disgusting. Uh, Come on, let's just go. No, seriously, I washed it. Our heroes lock up the lab and head out into Saddle River City to go trick-or-treating. Where would their adventures take Dr. Floyd and his crew next? What evil plans could Dr. Steve be cooking up in the dark of night? And just what candies is Dr. Floyd hoping to get in his trick-or-treat bag this year? Smarties, I love them. I have an order that I eat them in, too. First the white, then the green, then... Find out next time on the creepy adventures of Dr. Floyd. <laughs> mer, 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 mer. Does that sound like Fidget? Mm, no.